China's sales of passenger electric vehicles reached 429,000 in November. CPCA data shows. Now, the worrying part about this data is what I'm about to share with you. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. You are watching The Electric Viking. Make sure you check out the 700 plus videos we've created over the last seven months telling you that actually what you think is going on in the electric car industry might not be quite as it seems. Now, the percentage of cars in China that were sold in November that were electric was 21%. Remember, this is the world's largest car market, by far the world's electric car market. And the most interesting part about all of this data, all of it, put it all together, and you see a very alarming trend for Legacy Auto. Extremely, extremely alarming. And I'm not saying this to get clicks. I'm saying this because I'm gonna share with you the data and you can see what the trend is. Now, sales of 429,000 electric vehicles in a single month. It's insane, right? That's an increase of 132% year on year and it's an increase of 18% from October's all-time record according to data released today by the China Passenger Car Association, the CPCA. Now, the interesting thing about this data is November is historically a good month in China, but December is historically always a better month in China. So it's possible electric car sales could hit 500,000 in a single month in China next month. So of those 429,000 vehicles, 343,000 were pure electric vehicles and 85,000 were plug-in hybrids accounting for 80% and 20% respectively. Now CNF Post reports that wholesale sales of new energy vehicles in China from January to November were 2.8 million units up 190% year on year so far. Now in November the penetration rate of electric vehicles in China was 21%. In January to November, the figure was 15%. So that's a significant increase from the penetration rate of 5.8% in 2020. 5.8 versus 15, massive. But remember, what's most interesting is this trend we're seeing, right? Every month, electric car sales become a much higher percentage of sales. And this is the trend we're seeing globally. We're seeing this all across Europe, all across China. In November, the penetration rate of electric vehicles among local brands, this is the interesting part, among local brands was 33.2% and 24.6% for luxury vehicles, compared to only 3.9% for mainstream joint venture brands. 3.9%. What does this say about Legacy Auto? What's happening? They are way, way, they're so far behind that the race is well and truly over. It's finished. The race in China, it's finished. You can definitively say that. 33% of vehicles sold in China that were made by Chinese companies were electric, right? 24.6% of luxury vehicles sold in China were electric. Only 3.9% of legacy auto brands sold in China were actually electric vehicles. So you can clearly see legacy auto has shown very little interest in selling electric vehicles in China. Those 3.9%. That's, this is the interesting part as well. It's all coming from one company. It's Volkswagen. Volkswagen makes up about 3% of that 3.9. So basically, Legacy Auto outside of Volkswagen in China is just going to see an irreversible decline every single year for the next 10 years until basically the Chinese say, well, so long. Bye-bye. Now, in terms of retail penetration in China, it was 21%. The penetration rate of electric vehicles in China was 21% of retail sales in November, not including fleets, compared to 14% from January to November, up from 5.8%, as I said before. So the crazy thing is, if we've seen this change from 5.8% to we're probably going to average out the year at around 15% for the last 12 months in China, what's that say we're going to see next year? I mean, even if things slow down, we're still gonna to get to 25% of all vehicles being sold in China being electric cars in 2022. Imagine where China's gonna be in say 2026. The race could be finished by then. That's, that's just, wow, wow. 
So what about exports? Well, Tesla China continues to lead on export growth. China's new energy vehicle exports maintain really strong growth in November, with Tesla China exporting 21,127 vehicles, though that's lower than October's 40,666 units. But obviously we know that that's Tesla's strategy. They usually ship most of their exports out at the start of the month so that hopefully those cars arrive in their destination market before the end of the quarter. SAOC's passenger vehicles exported 6,100 electric vehicles in the month of November. Geely exported 470, Great Wall Motors 426, and BYD 404. Next year, you'll see probably a 10xing of those figures at the least, at least 10x. Those figures will be way higher than that. I think you'll be looking at probably 50,000 exports per month next year from China. So number one position, who did it go to? Once again, BYD. In November, 14 companies though, sold more than 10,000 electric vehicles. But BYD was the clear leader. With wholesale sales of 91,000 new energy passenger vehicles in November. Now, second place, of course, was Tesla with 51,000 in. And in third place, very close race, was the SAIC GM and Wuling Tri Venture, I call it. It's a joint venture, but I mean, there's three companies involved. They delivered and sold 50,141 pure electric vehicles in the month of November. Now, here's the full list of electric car sales in China during November. I'm going to share those with you right now. BYD, 91,000. Tesla, 52,859. SAIC GM Wuling, 50,000. Great Wall Motors, 16,000. Xpeng, 15,000. GAC Aeon, 15,000. Sherry, 14,480. Leoto, 13,500. Geely, 13,000. SAIC, 12,000. Neo slash JAC. JAC builds Neo's vehicles and they also sell electric vehicles themselves. Together, they sold 16,000. Leap Motor, 5,600. Nita, 10,000. Socon, Huawei, 4,600. WM Motor, 5,000. Voyar, 1,100. And Zika, 2,000. Now, there's a whole lot more, but I don't have time to share all of those with you. Those are some of the major ones. Now, conversely, those are all Chinese-only companies, aside from Tesla, of course. So let's have a look at Legacy Auto. Well, Legacy Auto, what did they do? Well, the Volkswagen slash SAIC joint venture, they sold 22,700 electric vehicles in November. Second place was BMW with 5,200. The rest are all well under that. As you can see, Legacy Auto is, other than Volkswagen, just not interested in EVs in China, even though it's the largest electric car market in the world. And sales of Japanese vehicles, particularly in China, have basically crashed through the floor within the last three months. I think this is an irreversible decline. This will just continue until we get to that point when most of the market in China will be Chinese only cars. And, and remember though, all vehicles sold in China by Legacy Auto have to be owned at a minimum of 50% by locally owned companies. So even though sales for Volkswagen is 22,591, you even still have to halve that to say 13,000 to get the real figure for what Volkswagen is taking home themselves. Same with BMW with their JV. Their 5,200 then only becomes 2,600. So based on all these numbers, I think it's very fair to say Legacy Auto are in the midst of an irreversible decline in sales, not only in China. I think we're going to see this irreversible decline worldwide happen from now on and for the next decade. Thanks for watching the channel. I look forward to seeing you again on the next one. Bye-bye.